This is a video tutorial on how to trim your dog's nails. Before we begin, there are a few supplies that you'll need to have on hand. These include a nail trimmer, some small dog treats, and some styptic powder. Optional tools include a hair clipper and a Dremel tool. There are a couple different kinds of nail trimmers on the market for dogs. The type I recommend is a scissor clipper. Another popular type is a guillotine clipper that has a rounded top, but I like to avoid those because they tend to pinch the dog's nail. It's advised to have a supply of styptic powder on hand in case you cause the nail to bleed. This powder helps to stop the bleeding quickly. Alternatively, cornstarch can also work in a pinch. Treats are a very important part of this training. Use whatever your dog likes the best. Small chewy treats tend to be easy to handle and quick to give. The hair clipper and Dremel tools are optional as I mentioned earlier. We will go over their use briefly in this tutorial. Trimming your dog's nails regularly is important for their health and well-being. If we let our dog's nails get too long, it will cause them pain when they walk and will cause their joints to be in an unnatural position. This slide shows a nice illustration of the anatomy of a dog's nail. A dog's nail has a blood vessel called the quick inside the nail. The quick is very sensitive and we must make sure we don't cut into this when trimming the nail. As illustrated, when trimming the dog's nails, we aim to cut directly in front of the end of the quick. Keeping the dog's nails trimmed short will also shorten the quick, making the dog more comfortable. Before we begin, let's talk briefly about furry feet. Long hair on the feet will make it difficult to see the nail, which may make your job more difficult for trimming. If this applies to your dog, you may wish to explore the idea of trimming or shaving their feet. You can use a commercial hair clipper such as the one pictured here, or you can get by with a men's beard trimmer or even a pair of scissors. As with nail trimming, it will take time to get your dog used to these tools, but as you see here, a trimmed foot makes it much easier to see and work with the dog's nails. The first step in teaching stress-free nail trimming is to teach the dog to assume the position. We want them to associate this position with good things from the very beginning. I like to hold smaller dogs in my lap, but large dogs might want to sit, stand, or lay down. Work with your dog to determine their preference. The next step is to introduce the nail clipper to your dog. Don't jump right in and start cutting, but instead spend a bit of time showing your dog the clipper and giving a treat. Then touch the nail with the clipper as I'm doing here and give another treat. Only when your dog is showing no stress or fear should you move on to the next step of actually cutting a nail. When you are ready to start cutting the nail, continue with the routine of cutting a nail and giving a treat. Only do as much as your dog can handle in each session, as it is better to end on a positive note than to push through and make it stressful for both of you. Spend a few minutes each day and you will soon find that it's no big deal for either of you and you will be able to trim all of the nails in one sitting. Remember as you begin to cut the nails to always stay in front of the quick. It's a bit hard to see here, but I've circled the area on Kaiser's nail that shows the quick. This picture shows the trimmed nail, and you can see that I placed my cut directly in front of the area previously indicated. Don't forget the hind feet. Luckily I find that most dogs tend to do better with the hind feet than with the fronts. Again, we want to stick with the position that's easiest for the dog. Kizzy here is more comfortable sitting in my lap, although she is a bit distracted here with what the other dogs are doing in the yard. With most dogs, I recommend continuing the cut-treat method as you move through the nails, but you may find that with experience, you can get through the whole foot before you give a reward. Finally, you may wish to end by rounding off the nails with a Dremel tool. This is completely optional, but it does remove any jagged edges on the nail and makes it less likely to scratch you. We introduce the Dremel the same way that we introduce the clipper, very gradually. With time and positive training, your dog will remain as relaxed as you see here with Luke. You can maintain your dog's nails with only the Dremel, but I find nothing is faster than the nail clipper. Your end goal should be nails that don't touch the ground. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial, you and your dog will soon feel at ease with the task of nail trimming. Happy training!